Welcome to Musician Talks with Dane Smith, and I'm here to talk to you guys really quick about what's really going on when you think about artists beefing and how it really affects the consumers of hip hop and what it does to the industry of hip hop. So really quickly, let's go over what the basics of a hip hop beef is. So it's essentially, it's two artists that dislike each other and they're using their products, brand, and music to basically take jabs at one another, either ad hominem attacks, attacks at factual bad business that they've done or things that they just don't like about each other. It's as simple as that, right? And so what really happens when two artists beef? Well, essentially you're having a political party or you're having an actual uh, argument between two companies or two entities, essentially, right? And so when you take any side of a beef when it comes to music, you're not necessarily siding with right or wrong. You're just siding with whatever portion of the argument you believe to be more valuable. And so when you think about that as a consumer, are you really aware of the things that you're engaging in when you notice two artists beefing? And this is something I think many consumers don't consider and don't have the ability to consider because it's just not obvious information for them. And so now we have to look into when two artists are beefing, why would it be valuable for them to take it public? Why would it be valuable for them to hear your opinions or to base any of their decisions in how they dislike this other person or their company based on how you as a fan react to it? Well, the real answer is it's all in the money, right? We clearly know that any artist that is using business in order to propel their ideas, their agendas or things like that, they have to do it with the with money as a tool. And when you think about how many streams you can get from people being curious, people hate listening, people just hearing about it through word of mouth or the, the machine you've developed to promote and push your product. When you think about that, it's at the end of the day, just to help this artist get more and more resources to do the things that they're doing. But this is the question that I really want to pose to any hip hop consumers or music consumers in general that are engaging in any kind of beef conversation. And it is, how do you expect to know which artist is a better musician when you've decided who you like during a beef? And so what that question is going to lead you to think is, okay, if this person makes a diss track that I enjoy better, does that make them a better artist? Or do I simply have an attachment to this person and their beliefs? Now, if you were to take it away from music, let's take it to like food, for example. If you like a certain brand of let's say soda, and you always drink that soda, and then a newer one comes out later, or another one, and they factually explain that the one that you enjoy is not as good as this new one. For you to stick with the one you've always loved, is there accuracy in your assessment on which soda is a better soda? Now to apply it back to music, how do you know after you've decided, oh, I like this track more, or I like how this guy said it better? How do you truly know which artist is improving their skill craft, doing it for the love of music, or is all of the energy that you invested in as a fan solely based on how they hate another person or dislike another person's uh, business doings and things like that? And this is why I'm having this video. Because if you truly answer those questions as a consumer, you'll start to realize that most of your participation, it's not going to matter. It's simply just a bread and circus show for the problems that these two other people may actually have with it, with one another that has nothing to do with you. And so it would be the equivalent of watching a guy and a girl argue and you pick a side on who's right 
only for them to get mad at you because you're trying to break them up. <laughs> That's essentially what's, what it's like being a hip hop fan when two artists are beefing. And so now when you're, when you're done answering these questions for yourself and you're realizing, okay, this isn't helping me understand who's a better artist. This isn't helping me understand um, the realities of why they have animosity towards each other. And if I find out the real reasons, I'm not going to do anything about it. So once you answer these questions, now we can go into why would an artist promote and encourage and participate in beefs of any kind? So then when we look at certain artists that avoid these things and focus on the music, they tend to take a hit because of their lack of urgency to do certain things. And when I say take a hit, I mean the public opinion kind of affects their bottom dollar. So many of these artists, they feel pressured to participate in beefs. They can't turn away because you as a fan would then not spend your hard earned cash for the actual artwork and product that they're willing to put out. So if I was a record label, I would be very hesitant to push my artists towards a beef because there would be a bit of derailment as far as what we originally set up as an agenda for our artists or for our products. Because I'm pretty sure most record labels and artists aren't waking up at the beginning of the year looking for someone to beef with. I'm sure there's like two guys, but at the end of the day, that's not how a majority of people are making their music and making a living through music. So when it happens, you can kind of tell for yourself that there is a grasp at opportunity and not necessarily a grasp at anything tangible because the tangible work would be in the music. The tangible work would be in the communication with fans, not necessarily your disdain for another artist or business or record label. Now, why is this important to think about as a fan? Because if you're a a fan that's into music, meaning you create craft or work with and alongside musicians, this is important to understand when the human nature of your artist or your artwork starts to rear its ugly head. Maybe you will one day have a problem with a coworker or a manager or a lawyer that gave you a contract or whatever thing goes wrong in your life. Now you have to figure out, should you participate in it for the simple fact that you are emotionally driven or can you find a way to leverage it to make a better situation for you and your family business or product and artwork that you're working on or should you ignore it completely you're not really going to know which one to take because it depends on the type of person you are and your ability to withstand pressure and also, if you're a fan or a consumer of music, how do you know whether or not you're getting quality music or just the basic thoughts of a guy who's angry at another guy or a girl who's broken up with her boyfriend and now she wants to make music about it? How do you know as a fan that this is going to be valuable quality music without compromising the artist's authenticity for their, how they actually feel? Because many of these beefs, they start off one way, meaning they may start off with two people disliking each other, but then it turns into a competition and not necessarily a bout of right or wrong or revenge or anything like that. It then becomes nanana boo boo type of conversations just through music and products. And these are some of the things that I think many, 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 many fans of music don't really get firsthand and it's not something they're forced and pushed and encouraged to think about so a lot of the conversations you will see when it comes to any beef between artists is usually bound in how they feel and not necessarily the results that they're getting as a consumer and what they actually value so if you think this was interesting and you have any kind of disagreements or maybe you agree with what i'm saying let me know in the comments and be sure to like share and subscribe and i want to know put in the comments as well are you the type of person that would like to see more and more beef meaning actual disdain from one artist to another 
or are you the type of person that views it all as friendly competition and you ignore the disdain people actually have for each other? So let me know in the comments.